Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. And uh, I welcome everyone in the name of the Lord. God bless you all, people of God, for all those who are coming online. And shalom in Jesus' name. Uh, my brother, my sister, people of God, I just want to share a small message, a small word of God. And uh, love to make a prayer for everyone this evening. Uh, not taking too long. And um, I'm over here with the word of God from the book of uh, Mark chapter 16 verse 20 and uh, this message this scripture really my brothers and sisters blessed my heart uh, as I was reading some days before and it speaks something very powerful all right so as even before I can start preaching my brothers I'll just wait for people coming online and I'd love to make a prayer for everyone for those everyone coming online uh, I promise you believing according to the Bible I promise you that through the word of God you and your family will be blessed. Amen. Amen. And amen. Praise the Lord. Church, uh, I pray the Lord bless everyone. And this scripture be led by your spirit uh, of God. And uh, let this word be made real and come to pass in everyone who receives it in Jesus name. Amen. Praise God. God bless you for all those people who are online. And I don't know if anyone knows me that I'm online now. But listen to this. This is Mark chapter 16, and this is verse uh, 20, all right? Please listen, I'm reading from the KGV translation. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them, okay? And confirming the word with signs following, amen. My brother said, what the Bible is saying over here is something very powerful. Please listen, all right? I will read it again. I would love to read it from the NLT translation, okay? And please listen. And the disciples went everywhere and preached, okay? And the Lord worked through them. What is the Bible saying over here? Wherever the disciples of Jesus Christ, especially the 12 apostles of the Lord, wherever they went, my brothers and sisters, the Bible says the Lord worked through them. Wherever the apostles of Jesus Christ was preaching the gospel, the Lord worked through them. Amen. Praise the Lord. Please listen. I'll just, I, I just take five minutes from you and please listen and just wait with me for five minutes. And the disciples went everywhere and preached and the Lord worked through them, confirming what they said by many miraculous signs. Amen. People of God, the Bible says, wherever the disciples went, and preached the gospel, Jesus Christ, the Lord, worked through the disciples in the life of the people. And the Bible says that miraculous signs took place. Amen. Now, I would love to read just a verse, two, three verses ahead of it, uh, before it. I'll, I'm reading now from verse 15, okay, the same chapter, uh, 16, verse 15. And he said, that Jesus said unto them, that's to the apostles, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Now this is after Jesus been resurrected from the dead. He's meeting the apostles and he's giving them a command and saying, go to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believed it and is baptized shall be saved. So Jesus said, whoever believes the preaching of the gospel and believes in my name and takes water baptism or receive baptism in faith, accepting Jesus as the Lord and Savior, the Bible says, they shall be saved. But he that believe not, who does not believe the gospel of Jesus Christ, who does not believe in Jesus Christ, the Bible says they shall be damned. I mean, they shall you know, be destroyed. And listen now, please listen to this, all right? This is verse 17. And this sign shall follow them that believe. Now, the Bible says, that there will be signs, signs and miracles will happen in the life of those people who believes in my name and who believes in the, in the gospel of mine. Now, please listen to this, all right? What is the Bible saying? And this sign shall follow whom? The signs, miracles will follow whom? Will follow the life in the life of the people who believe the gospel. So Jesus is saying, whoever believes my message, these miracles will follow them. Now, listen ahead. In my name. Now, people of God, what does Jesus say? This is something powerful. 
He says, in my name they shall cast out devils, they shall speak in new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall re recover. What is the Bible saying? Whoever believes in my name, Jesus said, whoever believes in my name, now you are the one who believes in the name of Jesus. I am the one who believes in Jesus Christ. So now this, what is Jesus saying is not only for a preacher or, 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 or a pastor, but Jesus is saying for everyone who believes in my name, the one who believes in my name, this sign shall follow them. So do you believe in the name of Jesus Christ? Amen. I believe in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So what happens for the one who believes? As we believe in Jesus, what happens? The Bible says, uh, the Bible says, they shall cast out devils. So you and I have the thought to cast out devils. They shall speak in new tongues. All right. We shall speak in new tongues, the heavenly tongues. They shall take up serpents and uh, they shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly, means any poison affects uh, if any poison is taken or been infected, the Bible says, it shall not hurt them. So no poison, no infection, uh, no evil, deadly thing shall hurt us. But listen to this. And they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Now, this is what Jesus is saying. Jesus is giving a command to the apostles after his resurrection and before going to heaven. Jesus is saying to his apostles, he says, listen. He says, go and preach the gospel all over the world. And uh, it says, whoever believes, the Bible says, whoever believes and can baptize, they shall be saved. But whoever does not believe, they shall be destroyed. Now, Jesus is telling his apostles, whoever believes in my name, they shall see miracles happening. All right. Uh, now, he says, whoever believes in my name, they will also perform miracles. They will also do wonders. But listen to this. In verse 19 and verse 20, he says something very important. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received to heaven and he sat at the right hand of God. Now Jesus goes to heaven in verse 19 here. It says that Jesus goes to heaven. He's seated at the right hand of the father. But please listen to this church. This is my message, which I just want to speak to someone, speak over someone. And please, another two minutes I'll take. And they went forth. Who went forth? The apostles went forth. The apostles went to, uh, to different towns and cities. And we all know people of God, the apostles went to different parts of the world. One of the apostles has reached India and he was, uh, he was, uh, uh, Jesus, I forgot his name. Uh, Thomas, yeah, Thomas, one of the apostles, Thomas came to India. So listen to this. This is my message. Verse 20. They went forth and preached everywhere. The apostles went and preached the gospel everywhere. But it's so powerful what the Bible says here. When the apostles went and preached the gospel everywhere the Bible says wherever they were preaching wherever they were preaching the Lord was working with them uh -huh. so imagine Peter was preaching in one town the Bible says Jesus was working with preach with with Peter when he was preaching where was Jesus Jesus is in heaven so who is on earth the spirit of Jesus the Holy Ghost so when Peter so wherever Jesus was preaching, the Bible says, Peter, uh, sorry, wherever Peter was preaching, Jesus was working with him. Wherever Thomas was preaching, Jesus was working with Thomas. Wherever James was preaching, Jesus was working. What is the meaning of working? What was Jesus working when the apostles were preaching? He, the Bible mentions here, the Lord working with them, doing what? Confirming the word that the apostles was preaching. So when Peter was preaching, or any of the apostles were preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, what was Jesus doing? He was working with the apostles, means what? He was confirming whatever the apostles was preaching, he was performing it. He was proving that they are preaching right. How he was preaching, how he was proving it, or how he was confirming it with working with signs. He was working with signs. The NLT translation says with miracles. Amen. So my brothers and sisters, when Peter was preaching the gospel in the book of Acts, or, or even Paul later was preaching the gospel of Jesus in the book of Acts, the Bible says miracles were happening. How are the miracles happening? It was Jesus working with them. So when the apostles were preaching, 
Jesus was confirming the message. Jesus was getting the message done by performing miracles. All right. Now listen, how? By working miracles, working signs and wonders to tell the people that these people of God who are preaching, this apostles who are preaching they are preaching my word and they're not preaching fake they're not preaching a lie they're preaching the truth and what was jesus doing he was performing whatever peter was saying that jesus will heal you jesus was healing people over there by confirming the messages of the apostles by proving miracles and signs and wonders amen hallelujah now listen to this all right please listen the apostles were preaching jesus was working with them the apostles were preaching, Jesus was performing miracles. Whatever the apostles were preaching, Jesus was doing it. Jesus was making it happen. The miracles were happening. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But what did Jesus say, people of God, in verse 15 onwards, in the same chapter, before verse 20, in 15 and 16, and uh, especially in 16, what did Jesus say? He said, whoever believes shall be blessed. Amen. All right. Whoever believes and gets baptized in my name, shall be saved but listen he said this sign shall follow them that believe in verse 17 signs means miracles wonders will happen in the life of who of the people who believes in the name of jesus who accepts the message of jesus christ so my brother my sister if i believe in the name of jesus and i'm accepting every word of god the bible says at that time Something will follow me. What will follow me? Miracles will follow me. Amen. This, this sign shall follow them that believe. So if I am a believer of Jesus Christ, if I believe in Jesus' name, if I believe the message of Jesus Christ, the Bible says there is something that will follow me. Miracles will follow me. Amen. Hallelujah. If you believe the message of Jesus, Jesus Christ, if you believe the word of God, the Bible says, my brothers and sisters, the word of God will not remain only the word, but the word will turn into a miracle. Why? Because when you believe the message, there is miracles following you. Amen. So here the Bible says in verse 20, they went forth, they preached the word of God. That's the apostles preached the word of God. And when the apostles were preaching, or when Peter was preaching, or James was preaching, or Andrew was preaching, or Thomas was preaching, my brothers and sisters, or, 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 J, or, or, or John was preaching, whoever was preaching, when they were preaching the gospel, the Bible clearly says, the Lord was working with them. Amen. Although the Lord Jesus is in heaven, but when the apostles are preaching on earth, the Lord Jesus is working through them, working with them through the Holy Spirit. What was Jesus working or how was Jesus working? He was working by confirming the word that they were preaching through miracles. Amen. Hallelujah. But for whom the miracles were happening? The people of God. The apostles, the people of God, please listen to this. The apostles were preaching the word of God to so many people. But there were few people receiving the miracles. Who are the few people? Because the few people were the one, as according to the book of uh, uh, Mark, the same chapter, 16, verse 17. Verse 17, who are, the few, who are those people who believe? Amen. So the ones, please listen to this now. The apostles preach, Jesus works to them. All right. When the apostles were preaching, Jesus was working through signs and wonders. But in whose life? The lives of those people who believe. Right now, people of God, as even I'm preaching the word, I believe Jesus is working through me in the life of your people, of you, you people. But who are those people? The one who believes. If you believe that Jesus is still the healer today, if you believe that Jesus is still the miracle worker today, if you believe the word of God according to the book of Hebrew, verse 13, verse 18, verse 8, chapter 13, verse 18, that if you believe that Jesus is the same as today, today and forever, that Jesus will perform miracles in the gospel 2,000 years before, will perform it today and forever in your life, then my brother and sister, when you believe, God will work through what I'm preaching, God will work and establish the promises establish blessings in your life by working miracles. Amen. So now people of God, whoever online, Paul, Alfonso, Myla, and John, and Philo, and everyone who's online and who's watching this offline. People of God, whenever a man of God or whenever a pastor is preaching the word of God and you are believing in it, the Bible says God, the Lord Jesus is working through that pastor who is preaching and if, when you are believing, miracles is following. Jesus is working 
through signs and wonders. Jesus is working through the preaching of an apostle or a disciple of Jesus Christ. When a man of God or a pastor is preaching, the Lord Jesus Christ is working miracles through that person's preaching or that preacher's preaching. But in the life of those who believe. So when you believe, remember, when you are believing the word of God preached by a pastor, what happens? My brothers and sisters, God, Jesus Christ is working miracles. Amen. Hallelujah. My God, I feel in the glory now. So I want to say one thing. And now it is something to tell me. Whenever, whenever I preach, I know people of God, the Lord Jesus Christ is working through my preaching in the life of those people who are believing. So if you are believing that Jesus is the healer and he will be the healer forever, I want to say someone will receive healing. That very moment when you're believing, Jesus will perform a miracle. Why? Because you are believing the word of God. And when you believe the word of God, who is Jesus? Jesus is working through that preaching in your life and everyone's life who believes the message of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. So people of God, now I would love to make a prayer. And I'm believing right now that Jesus is working in your life through this preaching. Why? Because you are believing the message. I am preaching the Bible. This is the Bible. I'm not adding anything to it. I'm just speaking the word, delivering the message, and I'm believing that Jesus will Jesus is working in your life and establishing blessings in your life as you are believing in this preaching or every preaching of the gospel in Jesus Christ. Amen. And so my brothers and sisters right now, let's come in agreement. All right. So Father, my God, right now, I believe according to your word from the book of, from the book of Mark chapter 16, verse 20 and verse 17. Lord, I am believing that every word that as I am preaching, you are working through this preaching and you are establishing this preaching in the life of those who are believing in your message. I pray a blessing upon them. I pray a blessing upon their family. Lord, in the name of Jesus, believing that you're you are seated on the throne and that you are the same yesterday, today and forever. The miracles that you have done yesterday, 2,000 years before, that you are doing it today and you will continue doing. Lord, I'm believing that someone is working, receiving miracles because you are working miracles as they are believing in the message, the gospel, in the preaching of your gospel. Lord, touch everyone, heal them, work miracles, let them see your power, your blessings, your favor in their life and their family, in everything they do. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God say, Amen, Amen, and Amen. Praise God. Now, my brother, my sister, I, I, I want to say something important. Tomorrow we are having a powerful healing and a deliverance service, all right? So tomorrow we are not, being, we are not going to be online or neither we are going to have the service in the morning. Tomorrow our service is in the afternoon, 3 p.m. in the timing. So 3 p.m. in their timing, we have a healing and a deliverance service that's in Mapsa. We are not going to be in Junta or Spanjim because we're not getting in the hall tomorrow to have the church service. But people of God, tomorrow we are, we are having, if you are from Goa or if your family is from Goa, please convey this message. And you people from Goa, listen, try to come. Tomorrow is a holiday, it's a Sunday, all right? So 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. we are in Jesma, Jesma Hall. It is in Mapsa. It is just at the side of the register office in Mapsa, or rather, it is above Sarvaswat Bank. All right. We're having transports in Marga. We're having transports in Vasco and Panjim. We're having all transports. So if you want to be a part, come and be a part. 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. I want to say one thing, people of God, according to the Bible uh, reading today and according to the word that God spoke to us, I know one thing. So, Tomorrow also when I'm preaching, I know the Lord Jesus Christ will be working through my preaching in your life and everyone's life who believes how what he'll be working. He will be working through signs and wonders and miracles, healings and deliverance, favor and blessing. Hallelujah. My God, I feel the glory now. So people of God, I invite you, come and be a part of tomorrow's service, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Jesma Hall, Mapsa, Goa, near the register office. It's going to be glorious. I'm believing for some mighty things to happen in our life. Amen. So people of God, until then, Shalom. I want to say one thing. Every time there is a word of God preached, people of God, you have got the gospel. John, uh, Mark 16, verse 20, the Bible said, every time the preaching of the gospel is happening, 
Lord Jesus Christ is working through that preaching and th working through miracles, all right? So we need to believe. So when we believe the gospel, ah, miracles will happen. I am just believing that as even I was preaching now and made a prayer for everyone, God has done something mighty in our life. Amen. So people of God, do not miss tomorrow's service. If you are from Goa, you need to come and be a part. Just my whole Mapsa Goa, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. All right. And we will be online on Facebook and YouTube. We are going to start the service sharp, means sharp at 3 p.m. So God bless you. Waiting to see you tomorrow. Shalom and God bless you everyone. Bye-bye.